Hi guys, it's time for card number 10 in the 12 cards of Christmas. So let's get started. My base is four and a quarter this way by 11, scored at five and a half. I have a mat that goes inside since I'm using this dark green and this one, the green isn't very thick. So I'm using extra matting to thicken it up. My mat that goes in there is this craft. And it's four by five and a quarter. Then my outside piece is four by five and a quarter. And I took a piece of the um, plaid ribbon that I had purchased last year. And I just wrapped it over it. Then this piece came in this little blank card and envelope set that I got from Target. I cut it down to three by four and three quarter, I believe. Yes, three by four and three quarter. And then my top mat is two and three quarter by four and a quarter. And I'm thinking I think I'm going to ink the edges of my craft with Vintage Photo. Let's get that out. So that those can be drying a little bit while we work on other pieces. Hope everybody's doing all right. I don't think I'm going to do the red with the vintage photo. Um, I don't think it's necessary, but I may change my mind. So, I do want it kind of heavy on here. Because I'm thinking about using this sticker that says Merry Christmas on it. That one does as well. However... They may be a little too small for this piece. I'll have to see. that one. Then I need this one. Come off of there. I just have it. It has a wired edge on it, so I just have it folded over it. I didn't attach it to this because I was pretty sure I wanted to ink the edges. And I could have just inked everywhere that the ribbon wasn't, except that I, I'm kind of clumsy, so I probably would have gotten it on the ribbon, which is why I opted to do it this way. I had videoed or filmed a different card for card number 10, but my file was, I don't know, corrupt or something because it wouldn't import. So I can't remake it exactly as I had the other one because I don't have, I'd use stickers on it. I don't have any more of those stickers. So, <laughs> we are doing a different one. 
that I just decided on a few minutes ago. Let's see if we like this better. Oh yes, much better. this card series is almost over. As a matter of fact, this is the last one I have to edit. And I'd gone in there this evening to do the editing on it and upload it and schedule it. But again, it wouldn't import because I guess there were corrupt files on it. I don't know how that works because I format my memory card pretty regularly and it just it's like it's at at random that it does it I don't know it doesn't make any sense I'm not going to stick my inside piece down until I decide if I'm going to do any stamping or not We'll put this off to the side out of my way, though. That's my inside piece. So let's go ahead and attach the ribbon to this. And I'm just going to use my ATG to do that. Because it's super sticky. Well, maybe. Come on, lay over there. See my measurements there on the back? goes off a little bit on that one so this might be easier to put this on the cardstock instead of fighting the ribbon Adhere this to the base. I want to use a lot of adhesive because I don't know how well this is going to stick with this ribbon. Come on. should be more than enough. Goodness. I just keep going. I think it's really pretty. Alright, there's that one. Now, do I want to ink the edges of this or not? Darn it. I guess I will.
one so it's heavier than the other. with that. It'll work. Now I'll put the red down. And again, I'm going to use extra adhesive because I don't know how well this is going to stick to the ribbon. And I don't want my card to come apart. I'd rather put too much than not enough. I'm trying to make this a quick card so that's why I haven't been very chatty because I know this whole series has been kind of long so I'll try in the future to not talk quite so much because I know there's some people that don't appreciate it Now, I think that maybe I should cut this down. Let's cut this down. It's two and three quarter by four and a quarter. Let's leave it at two and three quarter, but cut it down to three and a half and see if we like it better. Two and a quarter by three and a half. No, two and three quarter, right? Yes, two and three quarter by three and a half. Yeah, I like that better. Now I gotta have my blending tool again. Let's do this one. Oh, and these stickers also have them in the back. These stickers I got from Hobby Lobby at last year at the end of season, but you can get them this year too. I checked to make sure. I think it needs a little more dimension or dimensionals in here though. and see if you were more careful than I am and could peel that off without damaging the underneath one you could have two pieces instead of just one because it prints the same image just a little bit bigger background foam tape And this isn't necessary. It's not necessary to add more to it. I would just feel better doing it. So. Because we all saw how the bows got. And all of its uh, stickiness was no longer there. So. I would rather make sure that the stickiness is still there.
I don't think it needs dimensional on both though. So let's take that one off. to get it together today. Now I'm going to use ATG on this since I took the dimensional off. almost blends in. I probably should have used this on the red instead of the craft. And I felt sticky here just there it is. But we're using it on that craft because I'm not taking it apart. There we go. Now I could add a little bit of color by adding this piece and this Noel. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do on the inside. I'm gonna use a May May stamp. That's what I'm going to do on the inside. We'll put piece up here. And Noel down here. See that has a hint of green around it. So let's do the inside. Out of the May May Made It stamp set that is, I believe, Memory Lane. I, I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. I'm going to use the Sending Loads of Warm wish, Holiday Wishes, I believe is what it says. Sorry about the banging. Sending loads of warm ho holiday wishes. Here's the inside piece. And then I'm just using the VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I like these little stamp pads because I don't know, I don't make as big a mess with them. With the bigger stamp pads, I make a huge mess. pretty. Again, this piece is four by five and a quarter.
And then, out of this same sticker set, let's add a couple of these ornaments. We'll put this big beautiful one right here. And I think that's it. So there it is, guys. Thanks for spending a little time with me, guys. I certainly appreciate it. Thanks for being with me on this journey of doing these cards. I appreciate that as well. I hope you guys have a great day and a glorious tomorrow. Bye, guys.